All right, um, I'm gonna start explaining how to perform the, the twisting kings. What I start doing with this illusion, I'm really using only four kings, any four cards, any ones. Now this is the magician's perspective. All you have to do is when your left hand you take the two in the back and, and your right hand take the two in the front. So you need to split them up and um, every other one. And usually um, all I'm doing is, is spinning the card with the thumb. And then I bring it second from the bottom. And, and I it's in the second from the bottom so it doesn't stay all the way in the back. I don't leave it all the way in the back. So uh, it doesn't look too obviously in the sense that um, uh, people will assume because it's all the way in the back you are spinning the one in the back. So in this case, well, if you can find any alternative performance, that would be uh, even better. I try to spread the cards as much as uh, possible to cover the spinning. And this is only one angle view. At least you do it in, you do it in a stage. But this is pretty much in, for one person performance in this, in this case with this technique. And the thumb is it, it gonna be right about in the middle, or a little bit higher, doesn't matter. And make sure your fingers are pretty well wet. I just spin the card. Now see how the the my right thumb is still doing pressure, so so the card doesn't have to be exposed yet from this from the audience view. So I still bend it. Yeah, like about 90 degree angle, if you can. Um, and then I'll bring it all the way outside. Now you don't 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 expose it. Use the the, the card in the front so it hides the the, the blue back. Um, so you can move it second from from the bottom. Well, when I spin it. At least I can see the bottom uh, left corner. That's good enough for me because uh, my index, I just bring it all the way outside. And as you can see, um, the, 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 the last card, it is square automatically with a, with a front card because my index finger and my third finger uh, I bring it all the way outside, but it stops right there because of my fingers. The tip of my third finger, or sometimes I use the forefinger, depends how um, how your hands, your arms are rest, resting. Um, I just bring it all the way outside. So um, I will recommend not to use the, these cards because it doesn't give you a, an error because it doesn't have wide edge. So in case it's not perfectly square with a cut in the front, uh, it has a little bit wide edge, which is much better. So I just keep my, my index finger straight and my third finger, the tip. Sometimes I use the four finger, um, bring it all the way down, but they don't see it. They don't see that from the on the front so you can bring it in the second position close it and do some fancy movements and show it again and without switching the cards i take that what the two in the back and the two in the front and again um, every other my thumb is still in the in the center off center around her and bring it all the way outside and square it second spin it again some fancy movements spin it clip it and bring it outside so you see uh, how it's almost um, try to keep it square with a with a car in the front again so you don't expose the the car facing the opposite way Okay, the next performance is about spinning the, the cards all the way in the, um, uh, 
these ones are just in just my, my fingers. Again, one, and every other one. So I keep them spread. And with the fingers, I'm just spinning the card. And as soon as you spin the card with the fingers, bring it all the way to the outside. Okay, take the, these two and these two, the upper ones and the lower ones. And again, one, um, every other one. And then spin the card and bring it all the way outside. And try to do it in right about the middle of these two cards. Um, and be careful with the, with our angles. Again, this is pretty much one angle view. And as soon as you spin it, bring it all the way outside. So there is no no risk for people to see any um, any any of the movements. Um, see, because sometimes um, if, uh, the the smoother you do it, it's gonna be better. So it doesn't sound too much the spinning of the of the car, you know. And with this. Um, performance is pretty the spinning is pretty um, constant and um, and pretty much quick you know but it's not a big deal just with the fingers uh, and uh, in the right uh, angle view so people doesn't see you're spinning the card. Now I will re definitely recommend you to do it in front of the mirror. Um, so uh, you can practice as much as you can before um, before you even perform this illusion. So basically, you need to fool yourself in front of the mirror so you can. You can make this illusion more believable for them, and um, and the last one is about um, showing the, the the card in the front, and you are okay. So let me show you. This is the, the condition. Uh, you need to do a triple lift with these three cards. Um, show the card. Do a, a triple lift. Three cards as one, so you basically in this condition, but you need to spin the last one. Now I have the, the pinky break. Uh, when you show that the three uh, cards, when you do uh, the triple lift, uh, right there I keep the, the the break, right in that instance. So um, so when you snap your fingers or give it a little snap um, spread uh, this card first and then the middle one higher and then you're flipping the card you can keep your, the index finger this finger straight you can bend it you can bend it like that and then see but at the same time you you open like the cards so it covers uh, from this um, this view the side view triple lift the pinky break and spread lower and the, the, the middle one higher and just see and then you can catch it with the, with the other hand Now you can bend the index, depends how you feel more comfortable. Uh, spread the cards and bend the index finger just to, to write and turn it over. And that's it. Okay, uh, for uh, the beginning of the, of the performance, I use a double sided tape in each and every card. I place it right in the middle. Okay, you have a t shirt, just wear it a couple times. So it's not really strong enough to put the next card right under, and, and there you have it. 
So by the time you do pressure, you can pretty easily, you know, stick it off. Now, I won't recommend to use a, a clear tape because the clear tape doesn't have enough consistency. So the cards, um, the cards are not gonna stick on your hand pretty well. So the gray tape, it has more consistency and um, as you can see, this is gonna help you a little bit more to stay up uh, on hand and make sure you, squ you squeeze the card so they don't fall independently. And you know, it's all about, about angles because they're, they're resting on my, on my hip. Well, you know, this is not for live audience. This is just for TV. Thank you.